Wow. There it is, at long last. A horse capable of surpassing Gaynor. Gaynor being our other horse. I actually haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're, I hope they're living well on the farm. We have Shadowmere from Lucien Lachance. Wow, look at that. Apparently, uh, brother killed your whole clan. Oh, I love your little skull thing. I don't know what you call, like, various horse accoutrements. Uh, because, you know, don't own a horse, do I? So here we are. Why don't we go and whack some horse armor on it? Now, I know a lot of you are probably screaming at the screen right now saying, don't do that. It will make it not immortal. Don't panic. There is a patch with that. We could put some horse armor on it. We pay the gold, whatever, for a little bit more health. But it is still essential. Um, so, you know, we won't get the usual thing of bandits clapping its cheeks. Oh, well, not in, not in that way, obviously. So, one thing I was supposed to say yesterday, but actually forgot to say, was, uh, many people were screaming at me for obviously getting, um, Nocturnal's Cowl and then not using it during the Dark Brotherhood quest to avoid the infamy. I'm putting, I, I'm, what I'm probably going to do with this series, because this is ending up being a very, very long series and we're nowhere near done with the main quest at this point anyway. Um, you just pause it a second. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, what I'm going to do is we'll finish the main quest and then we'll have a little bit of a break from Oblivion anyway. Um, we'll go and do another game in the meantime because otherwise this is genuinely going to end up being like 80 plus episodes with the Shivering Isles as well. So, we, we obviously aren't really supposed to do series that long on this channel. Not that there's anything stopping us, but uh, I think people get kind of fatigued by it, and I think I probably will as well. So, to keep it as fresh as possible, we'll come back and do the Shivering Isles of the Knights of the Nine kind of later on. Uh, and the, the, the pilgrimage where we, you know, lose the infamy would be pretty good to redo as kind of the first thing. So, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense, but that's why I'm not going to bother with not Sona Cows or anything. Hello! Grabura, owner and proprietor. We board horses and... No, uh, I need to buy some armor for my horse. What can horse. I interest you in? Uh, I'd like some... I think steel armor looks better. I appreciate your business. Oh, thank you. I appreciate your business. Shadowmere is armored and waiting outside. Oh, that looks so cool. Hello there. Whoa, look at that. Hey, maybe the, uh... Maybe the elven armor would have looked different too. Because that's quite obviously like a unique skin, isn't it? Wow, what a horse. Wow, this is kind of cool, huh? Uh, so, of course, we're, we're kind of on our journey here looking for any sort of Grand Souls. That'd be fantastic. And any Daedric armor, too. That is a big one that we're after right now. We did get a Daedric longsword. Um, oh, my God. It does a lot more damage than... What does it do? It does five more damage than Umbra. And if we were to enchant it as well, we could be looking at like 60 damage a swing with a Grand Soul. In fact, we could do that now very quickly. I like Umbra. Umbra is good to keep around with something like Goldbrand if you really want to maximize damage. We can make our own Goldbrand here because we have a Grand Soul ready. We have this Daedric Longsword prepared. Ideally, we probably want a Daedric Claymore, right? Well, I don't know because we've got decent block skill. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see how it goes, really. Let's go and have a look, Shadowmere. Do a little bit of enchanting. We do have a grand soul. Uh, we captured the soul of one of Lucian Lachance's guardians yesterday. So that should more than do for what we need. Where is Slona and... Fuck. Oh, God. You know what? I wish I'd never asked. I actually did put the Rose of Sithis on display as well. Um, after we killed Adamus Villader, I decided to drop it on the uh, on the table there. Just a, just a slightly pink arrow, basically. Right. Where are we looking? Ultra of Enchanting. Let's add the Daedric Longsword. Let's go. Zero start with the Grand Soul. I want to do, like, shock damage, ideally. What can we do? Like, maximum magnitude? It can't hold that. Okay. Um, it's got 85 to play around with. So, I think we'll do, like... Now, again, duration is better than... It, it, it's, it's better in terms of, of just pure maths to go kind of higher duration and lower magnitude. So, I do 44 damage. Although in this situation, maybe not because of the way the rounding goes. 44 damage overall because it's 22 for 2 seconds. Um, or we can do what? Like, ideally we need 44 to balance that out. Yeah, see, we can only do 40, 39 per swing. But, are we going to swing faster? Because that damage will, will not stack. It will just reset the timer, if that makes sense. So you won't do, like, the 88 damage per tick. Um, I think I prefer it just straight up damage, huh? What do you think? And then if we got any points left over, could I do, like, uh, Drain Health for... Oh, that'll take us up to the 85, will it? Oh, that's actually quite good. Magnitude of 3. Oh, yeah, that's really helpful. <laughs> that's fucking terrible. Um, well, let's delete that. Can we put on, like, um... We could do a little bit of 
fire as well? No, we can't fit the fire. It doesn't matter. We can go feather for three points. What do you think? Or chameleon. Can we do chameleon for like a three points too? There you go. Oh, on strike? Oh, that's garbage. Whatever. That's fine. We'll call it uh the shocker. We'll call it the shocker. There we are. Now this thing's going to hit like a fucking truck compared to Umbra. So it does 30 base damage and then another 39 on top of that for a total of 69. Oh god, it does 69 damage. Well, sure, it also ignores resistance, right? It's because it's enchanted, correct? Yeah. Oh no, that's not true though, because that, that's enchanted and that doesn't ignore resistance. Wow, that's a fucking cool sword. Damn. Holy shit, we're going to kill everything with this thing. I could kill the world. I think I'll put Vicente's sword in a display case as well. We'll go. We got this one here. There we go. I feel like he deserves it. You know, he's one of our one of our good friends in the Dark Brotherhood. Let's throw that on the floor. And it is an ebony longsword, enchanted ebony longsword, so it's kind of cool to have on display anyway, right? There you go. Right, so let's go do these dead drop orders for Lucien Lachance and see what he's got in store for us. As far as I recall, there's been like 10 dead drops, aren't there? It goes on for bloody ages, these missions. Uh, before you really get any more kind of story content, quote unquote, with the Dark Brotherhood. I think it's a, I think it is actually like a dozen dead drops or something crazy like that. Um, Shadamir, you are not much use here because we need to go off over a fucking mountain, don't we? We've already found Hero Hill. Well, that makes things a little bit easier. All right. So our first assassination target then. Uh, where is this hollowed out mossy rock somewhere on Hero Hill? Uh, is this, oh, this is going to be it, right? Yeah, here we go. Dead drop orders number one. This is my first dead drop location and received my next contract. So we must go to Leaf Rock Cave and kill a necromancer who has begun the process of transforming himself into a lich. The necromancer, Kal Kaledian, has not yet completed his metamorphosis, but is incredibly powerful, possibly too powerful to kill a face directly. I should search the cave for his writings and try to discover his weakness. So in traditional fantasy, I think this is kind of a D&D &D thing more than anything else. Well, fuck you then. All right, pal. Yeah, no worries. You just fucking go back to nature. See if I care. A lich has like a heart or like a phylactery or something like that, right? Traditionally. We've already been to Leaf Rock Cave anyway. Don't remember what quest for. We might have just found it on the way over to um the Mayron's Razor quest in hindsight. Let's get in there and take a look around. Well, to be honest, with this sword, we probably could kill him. We probably could kill him up front. We hit him with the, uh, if we hit him with the drain health and just go fucking butt wild with the... <laughs> with the sword. All right, here we are. I hear a zombie. I can't see a zombie, but I can hear a zombie. We got novice alembics. You hear that? Might be a skeleton as well. Um... Fundamentals of alchemy, uh, the art of war with magic. Oh, cool. 80 destruction. Nice. Very cool. It's closer to a level up, right? Not that we really need it. The path of transcendence. My initial findings may have been inconclusive, but they will set me on the path open soon until I achieve my goal. Uh, or lie rotting in this cave, etc., 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 blah, 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 blah. Right. Nice. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's 18 pages long. I've discovered the journal of Necromancer Caledian. Kal it appears he has used a magic hourglass to cause the sands of resolve to turn himself into a lich and extend his life indefinitely. The process is not yet complete, however, and the hourglass must remain on Caledian's person for some time. So it contains his life force, so it is a phylactery. If I could remove the sands of resolve from Caledian's possession, perhaps through pickpocketing he would surely die. You want me to pickpocket a lich to death? That is incredible. I would rather actually fight him. Uh, you know, rather than... Ah, oh, there you are. Hello. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh! oh, balls. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Especially on a skeleton hero. Bonk. Good work. Um, it's through here then, I guess, huh? Uh, friend? <laughs> uh, hello? Sir? Oh, there's a fucking wraith in there. Of course there would be. Nice. Good God. The damage is insane. Whoa. Game changer. No longer takes 50 swings to kill something, huh? Wow, we've actually got kind of level-specific gear for a while. Because that, it, although Umbra is obviously good, it is still just an ebony longsword that we've had basically since the start of the game. So we felt very, very powerful for a while, because of course we were. But then we kind of very... We, we, we averaged out, and then in some ways we, we fell behind. Because you could have, at that stage, had an ebony longsword, you know, with... um. 
with with a lightning enchantment on or something like that. He's still in here, huh? Caladian zombie. Well, goodbye. So he's very powerful. I must not be for head to head. We'll see about that. Yeah, let's get this over with. Bitch. Wow. What a guy. He was so powerful. Caladian is dead. I must pick up my reward in the next contract. In the dead drop located in an old tech hidden in the bushes beneath the great oak in the city of Coral. Wow. That was actually pathetic. Um, shit. And the game is such a big song. I guess if you're playing a stealth character, it would probably be a bit more, a bit more impressive, huh? Looks like he performed the Black Sacrament. I wonder who prayed to the Dark Brotherhood to kill this big necromancer. Unless maybe the um, the Black Hand decided he was a threat? Oh, I don't know about that one. Current soul level none. Hey, that's pretty good with Umbra. Very nice. We could save that for a Black Soul Gem. Where did it say for us to go? It wants us to go... Uh, hidden in the bushes beneath the Great Oak in the city of Coral. I mean, of all of the hiding places, this is not the most appropriate one. Uh, given that... Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, hang on. Uh, there it is. Got it. You know, like the biggest tourist attraction in the whole town of Coral, where they're surrounded by benches and people all the times. Brilliant. I received new orders from Lucian Latrance. I must kill every member of the Draconis family. Perennia Draconis, Matthias Draconis, Andreas Draconis, Sibylla Draconis, and Celia Draconis. Another location of the family matron, Perennia Draconis, who can be found at a farm known as Apple Watch. Wow. This is fucked. All right. Let's go and have a look then. Uh, Apple Watch. Have we found that before? Uh, I don't even know where it is. Apple, Apple Watch. There it is. Oh, it's by Cloud Ruler Temple. Well, let's travel up there and then just leap off the side of the mountain, I guess. That sounds very on brand. Fly, Shadow Mirror. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'm going to regret this? All right, here we go. Like the wind. Oh, no. Wow, not a problem. Didn't even fucking flinch. What a horse. You got a farm up here. Of all the places, this seems like a terrible idea. Tundra is known for uh, uh, for growing good, hardy crops. I mean, quite literally hardy. We are? What the fuck are you growing here, old lady? Let's go and have a look. I've got a, uh, crop inspector. Madam. Stay in your home. I have to see what you're growing here. Potatoes. Okay, yeah, fine. I'll allow that. Radish, I'll allow that too. Lettuce. Okay, it's actually all above board. It's all above board. Lettuce. Go and visit. Hello? It's Jake the dog. God, she's got such a perfect life out here. In a house that overlooks the void? Yep. A house that overlooks the void with a lovely little dog and thatched roof, probably full of rats. Hello. Hello there. I'm sorry, you startled me. My nerves get rattled rather easily these days, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Living alone will do that to you. You won't have to worry about that for long. Now, is there something I can help you with? Yes, I'm looking for your children. My children? Whatever for? Oh, oh dear. Excuse an old woman's stupidity. You're here to pick up my gift list. Thank you. Yeah, that's Using it. Using your gift service was the smartest thing I've ever done. My children are spread across Cyrodiil. And it's so hard to shop for them all. I know. It takes 10 minutes to so walk across from one side of the my precious kingdom ones, to the other. Though I dare say they're not so little anymore. <laughs> they grow up so fast, I swear. Oh, don't they just? You'll notice that the list gives each child's location and some suggestions for gifts. Oh, and here's the gold I'm supposed to give you. Well, that's fucked. Now, please go. Got a robber as well. Those children are so dear to me. And I'd really like you to get them something special. Uh-huh. Thanks again. Oh, thank you. She said excuse her stupidity, but I'm not going to. What's going on? Madam? Ha! How was Holy fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> how did she take more hits to kill than the friggin' lich? Are you kidding me? The real Baranzaya, volumes one, two, and three. A hoe of rake and a scythe. Where was she hiding those, I wonder? Right. Shadowmere? Out into the world, my friend. Where are we going to first? What the fuck's going on up there? Uh, we've got one in the Imperial City. We've got one in Muck Valley Cavern. What the hell? Okay. That one sounds the safest one. Uh, hello. Don't mind me. Uh, that one sounds the safest one, so we'll head there first. Just around this corner. Uh, oh, here it is. 
Muck Valley Cavern. As if a fucking courier was gonna come and drop off a gift here, you stupid old bag. Oh my god, there's a fucking bear? What kind of courier were you paying for this? Jesus Christ, Royal Mail don't even want to go to my front door, and you think they're gonna get through fucking bears? <laughs> okay, so we've got the hippie child. Rebellious. Fucking loves bears, apparently. Jesus. God damn, that necromancer should have tried to turn himself into a bloody bear, let alone a lich. Or his mother. Oh no, it wasn't his mother. Sorry, I'm getting my quest all confused. <laughs> it's just so much murdering, I can hardly keep up with it. <laughs> right. Hello? Draconis child, I have gifts from your mother. But this... This is my mother's hoe. She she never lets this hoe out of her sight. Hello? What the fuck? She put a weapon on me. What the fuck? Oh, you'll never take me down. What the fuck is she doing? Maybe she knew she had an assassin after her? Wow. Fuck that courier then, I guess. Um, I want to see if she's got like a book or something Spends while she's down here, because that's bizarre. Uh, she's got a camp around the corner. Um, carrot and lettuce. Is she like a bandit? Well, that's really all there is to it, huh? What it makes you think? Uh, three sisters in. This is why I dropped that bloody ring ages ago, isn't it? Did I ever pick that back up? Oh, I assume so. Magler? You're not Magler. God, it's laggy in here. Jesus, how many people you got in here? You're breaking the fabric of reality, madam. Uh, well, one of them's in here. Uh, Commoner? God, God, this is insane. Every room is just rammed full of people. Hello? Oh, God. Well, look, they must be in another room in the building because it's not green on the map. Hello? Traveler, traveler. Uh, you think it's this one? It's either this one or the floor above. We'll try this one first. Hello? Celia Draconis, hello? Yes? Is there something you need? I've got a gift for you from your mother. My mother? Oh, do you know her? She's such a sweet woman. I've been a she terrible is. daughter, I'm afraid. I simply must visit more often. Yeah, go and have a look. Anyway, I have duties to tend to. If you see my mother, tell yeah, her you like you're soon. Yeah, you are tending to your fucking duties. Yeah, I know what you're tending to, pal. Fucking goblet of wine, am I right? She is, like, pissed. Look at her. Why is she so fucking annoyed? It's like she knows I killed her mother. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> What's this? I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. Generic letter number 12. I think we've read that about a dozen times. Just some guy sending out letters to every woman in Cyrodiil just hoping he could win them over. Um. Right. What can I do for you, citizen? Um, I don't know the best way to go about this, to be frank, madam. Stop right there, criminal scum. Bollocks. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Uh... Then pay with your blood. She's way less aggressive than the regular Imperial Guard, isn't she? Okay. Oh. Bollocks. God damn, I keep missing with drain health. It would have killed a bloody ages ago. Is that a sword run out of charge already? What the hell's going on with that, huh? It looks as if it might have. That's ridiculous. Why well, can't already be out of charge? Oh, yeah, it's already out. Jesus, that was fast. Okay, well, there's your caveat to that fucking weapon then, huh? God damn. Okay, how many uses do we actually get out of the fucking thing? One. <laughs> okay. Are we in trouble? What is it? You think what happened to Kavach? Uh, I guess they didn't hear. There's thunder. There's thunder going on. They couldn't have heard us. Oh, Jesus, hello. Yeah, I think we're genuinely good to just just walk away. Wow, that was unexpected. I think she's the only, is she not one of the only female guards in the whole game as well? Maybe one of the mods had some, but I'm pretty sure they're, because obviously that you'd have to get one of the voice actors. You'd have to pay a whole other voice actor. Ooh, crazy, I know. Um, there's apparently one in the Talos Plaza. It's all oh, over. fuck. Then pay. That, okay, so they know that we killed her then. Fair enough. Uh, 
Well, there's definitely one in the Imperial City, but I just went in there and it didn't have anything on the map. Hold on. Try that again. Oh, there you go. Right, I was hidden over the uh, other thing there. They don't really know what they want to do here, do they? Hang on, I'll, I'll go and hide a second. Well, they fled into the sewers and I think we got away with it. <laughs> I don't know whose fucking house we're in, but uh, I think that genuinely worked. Holy shit. Well, don't know how we're going to get out of this one, team. We'll have to go and see. Oh, they followed me. And they fucking just murdered some lady. What the hell? Okay. Well, this is fucked. This watch is insane. Wait, they just accepted my yield and now they're walking away. Oh, except for that guy. He's very much not walking away. Uh. Okay, so they have accepted my yield. Stop. There we go. Um, I'll go to jail. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just go to jail and break out. That's probably easier than trying to fight my way out of this place, isn't it? Fucking hell. God, we move so fast without the armor on. Jesus. Oh, fuck oh. off. God, this chameleon spell is fucking gashed by itself, huh? Turns out our sneak skill is nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. The jailbreaks increase your bounty. No. <laughs> no. What are you talking about? Nice. Oh, we're over encumbered. Well, this might be a problem. I won't lie. It seems to have accrued quite the fucking bounty during this quest. Are we really moving this slow? Jesus, good lord. This is insane. Okay. Let's just get out and hide somewhere. Okay, good. We've escaped. Uh, change of plan. Let's not try and assassinate people stealthily wearing full-on ebony gear. I think that's a terrible fucking idea. Okay. 104% chameleon. He also seems to be out in a garden for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, wow. Oh, got him. <laughs> Drunken Dragon Inn. We've already found this one before, apparently. That's a bloody Imperial Guardsman, like, right there. So, thank God we've got the, uh... <laughs> thank God we've got this going for us. Andreas? And nobody even knew. Oh, he's got a paper on the Night Mother Rituals, too. Wow. What did the quest log say? Every member of the Trakonis family has been killed. I must pick up my reward and the next contract to add the dead drop located in the Stone Well in Castle Skingrad Courtyard. How the fuck did you even get there to put that in? I mean, I know anybody can walk in, but it's a bit more... Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Yes. Yes. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to pick up some murder orders. You know how it is. Picked up an order to kill the Khajiit Jagasta. He can be found in his house in Bruma. He's a master of an uncommon that would prove a challenging opponent. He's expecting trouble to pay off the guards to look the other way if our fight spills onto the city streets. Oh. Really? So he wants a challenge. Maybe he called the Black Sacrament on himself. That'd be interesting. See if he's capable of fighting off assassins just, uh, just on the kind of drop of a hat. Unfortunately for him, we're 100% invisible. 104% actually. <laughs> Hello? Where is he? He's in here somewhere. Uh, ah, here you go. Secret training room. How'd you get planning permission from this? Somebody must know of it. There he is. This almost feels bad. Didn't even give him an honorable fight. Wow. Poor guy. Old bridge. We found this before, didn't we? When we were on our uh, Knights of the Nine pilgrimage. It's my reward to receive my next contract. Order to kill our gunning hunter named Shalise, who is holed up in the flooded mine. She wants a psychopath, so I should be curious. Curious? Cautious. Or both. Maybe both would help. Right. Flooded mine. We haven't found the flooded mine before. And we actually finally, this is the first bloody quest I think we've done, we actually get to ride Shadowmere. Well, I mean, except for that time where I yeeted it off of, uh... Someone should really do something about that, huh? Except for the time where I yeeted it off of Cloud Ruler Temple. Ow. What a journey that was. Well, thank you, Shadowmere. You served me well. See why they call it Flooded Mine. Well, we do have that breathing spell that we made for that other quest if we need it. Um... Where the fuck do we go? But how if I could see? Like, the breathing part isn't really a concern. It's the, uh, it's the seeing aspect of things that becomes a bit of a pain in the ass. All right, here we are. Hello? Sir? Madam? Oh, glass armor. Hello? Bonk. Bonk. I don't think we've seen much glass armor, have we? I really don't think we have. Maybe I've got the levels wrong. Maybe it's glass at level 20. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Look at the shit that you've got. 
Plus curses. Oh, light armor. Oh, that's why. Because it's, um... So, Daedric is obviously the heavy armor. And glass armor is the light armor variant of that. Right, got it, got it, got it. Long sort of glacier. Look at these fucking weapons. Wow. Short sword of shattering. That Lebanese short sword there. Here we have the lovely Fort Redman, which was just over from... That was the camp we took Mazoga, wasn't it? Because I remember it being the Nocturnal Shrine. Apparently, somewhere around here, is the dead drop that we're after. Oh. Did you hear that? Someone's whispering anyway. Might be a bandit. Might be a, mar a marauder, more importantly. Alval Uvani and Dead Drop Orders 5. Hello. Let's contract from the Dead Drop. I have to kill Alval Uvani, a dark elf merchant who spends his time traveling around Cyrodiil. Oh, cool. He's a master of destruction. He's killed before. He does have a weakness. If he drinks meat, he'll be rendered mobile due to a rare allergy to honey. I feel like I... Oh. Yes. Yes, I have. What the fuck? Did we kill him before? Maybe he just died on his tour of Cyrodiil. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, sir? I feel like I should just leave. I feel like this quest has gone to shit. I was actually, the genuine, the next words about out, out of my mouth were going to be, maybe we should start doing these quests how the quests are intended, you know? Ha! Just because it's a little bit too easy to go completely invisible and then hack people apart. Without them even knowing we're there. But I guess not. I think fate has taught me otherwise. Alright, where are we heading now then? Uh. Shit, I have no idea. I can't see this on the map at all. Uh, that direction. If that helps. Oh, in the Imperial City. Imperial City Market District. Somewhere through. A hollowed out trees. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Brilliant. Dead drop order six. Uh, okay. Go to the campsite on Knoll Mountain and kill Havelstein Horblood. A savage Nord barbarian skilled in the use of the axe. Well, it couldn't be any more of a fucking cliche if he tried. Right next to my Frostcrag Spire? I don't think so. Hi, right, Shadowmere. Gonna have to clear out this rowdy neighbor. Um. Oh my god, is he literally just right here? Yeah. <laughs> ah, I think that's him, right? Brilliant. Alright, well. Is he angry? He is angry. Okay. We was here a second ago. Shadowmere's just kicking the shit out of him. I don't even need to do anything. Shadowmere's on it. Brilliant. Okay. Um. Oh, it's gonna zap him. God, he's actually quite powerful. God, he is quite powerful. Kick him, Shadowmere. Oh, he's gonna let Shadowmere have the kill there. Nice work. Well, that was absurd. Daedric Battle Axe. Brother, that is a hell of a weapon you've got there, huh? Obviously, we've got... No, it's blunt right in this. Yeah. That's a shame. 3,000 gold. Why have they also kind of spawned in? Like, this guy's got the... Battle Axe of Rending, which does less damage, but for some reason, he decided to use it. It's not even like his... Um, maybe it's because of the Disintegrate Armor 80 points on Strike. Maybe they just prefer to use weapons like that. Oh, wow. What a view. Uh... Shadow Mayor wouldn't let me ride it there. Just kept fucking... Ah, you shit goblin. And that's something actually... I know a shit goblin is what I call people in Rimworld all the time. At that time, it was legitimately a goblin. Right, where are we going to now? Nornel. Okay. Who are we after? I didn't even read the contract. Oh, is, is this is... Okay, so this is just picking up the reward. Got it, got it, got it. This is so... It's such an eclectic mix of dead drops. There's like a mountain on a hill. A popular tourist spot. The Imperial City Market District. Oh, by the way, a fucking alien ruin. In the middle of nowhere. Oh my god, it's not even just like conveniently tucked away in the... In the start. I thought mud crabs more fearsome than you. What the hell is going on? It's like Pokemon down here. What the hell? Okay. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, is it underwater? Oh, for fuck's sake. I love the idea of Lucian getting on his scuba deer and coming down here so that he can leave our orders. Who puts all this stuff? I assume it's not Lucian himself doing it, right? Really? Here? Must go to the city of Breville and wait near the ancient statue known as the Lucky Old Lady. A wood elf named Ongolin visits the statue every night between 5pm and 1am to make a wish. Oh. If I see Ungolim, I must kill him. Okay. That shouldn't be too tricky, I don't think. Let's go and see what we can find. If I see Ungolim, I must kill him. I should be warned, however, that he has been alerted to danger, and if he senses an assassin, he'll probably 
He will attack on sight. He also bribed the guards to look the other way if there is a fight. Okay. Perhaps stealth would be the best approach. I agree. Uh, when was it here? 5 p.m. or 1 a.m.? Am I a bit early? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, you could say that. 5 p.m. and 1 a.m.? What, he just stands here for... What, seven hours? <laughs> Fucking weird, man. Whatever it is. <laughs> I must now journey to the city of Anvil and pick up my reward in the next contract dead drop there. It's located in a barrel just behind the pond in the city of Anvil. No. No! I'm too late. I thought I could get here in time. Thought I could stop you! Oh, he's very angry. By Sithis, what have you done? What madness has claimed you? Oh. You have betrayed me. You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? Why? I am here to end your miserable life. To... But... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You can't. We're invisible, but that's okay. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you? I'm also more concerned doing this in broad fucking day, like the middle of, of Braville. Uh, what are you talking about? Your first dead drop contract. You carried that out. Killed Celadon. After I did. That, you eliminated the Draconis family as ordered. Then. I did. Betrayal. Oh. Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all of the members of the Black Hand. Oh no. Little old me. Jagasta, Shali, Zuvalovani, Havelstein, Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all. Oh and shit. Umbalum, the listener himself. I mean, I didn't kill Alvalu. Right. The surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you are only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. Maybe you are. Uh, let me guess. You have a plan? The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. You were deceived. We must find out who is behind Ting. this betrayal. We haven't much time. I'm hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They Ooh. want me dead. Okay. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. Done. Okay. Uncover the true traitor's identity and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. For Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. Okay, sure. Not a problem. I'll wait for you at Apple Watch. The farm where you killed the old Draconis woman. Alright. It should be empty. So we're gonna safe. go back. I didn't kill a dog now though. <laughs> and may Sithus help <laughs> us all. Lucy just opens the front door and is fucking savaged by an angry dog. Okay. Now go. Learn the identity of the betrayer. Uh -huh. So we can gonna take his stuff first, his if that's alright. Bow of lightning. Wow, what's that? Ebony? Could be. Alright. Well, I'll see you later, Lucian. I'm just going to kiss the lucky old lady on the cheek. Oh, we got the buffer too. Well, aren't you a lucky boy? And there he goes. Like the wind. Well, I guess we'll leave it there for today. In the shadow of the lucky old lady. And we'll see quite what's going on with the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> like, I should really pick that guy up. The poor fucking dude's just kind of lying there.